Hey everyone, I hope that you have all been doing really well. It feels like the longest time since I have sat down and done a proper sit down video like this. And I mean, I was away for four weeks, so that does make a little bit of sense. Now I did vlog while I was away, so if you haven't watched those, I will pop links up here down here wherever there'll be links to the vlogs that I have currently uploaded and um, I think there might be one more coming after this video. I just wanted to quickly mention because you guys might be able to hear a little bit of background noise there are some people outside who've got quite a grunty sounding track um, but unfortunately this was really the only time that I could film so I figured I would just push on anyway and hopefully it won't be too much of a distraction or too noisy um, but the first thing you guys have probably noticed is I cut my hair. I got home and I decided and I think it was just from being away and it being so hot the entire time as well. I wish I had shorter hair so I decided to cut it that evening that we got home. I'm still getting used to it. I'm not entirely sure if I love it this length and I'm trying to figure out how long I want to have it um, just in future. Maybe I like it a little bit longer than this. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I'm, I actually cut this myself. I didn't go to a hairdresser so it's a little bit messy. It's not entirely perfect but that's kind of the way I do like my hair to look anyway. I also wanted to quickly mention a couple of the videos that are going to be coming up. Obviously this is my clothing haul for my holiday. I also purchased a lot of makeup. It's sort of embarrassing how much makeup I ended up picking up while I was away once I had collated it all. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a recap on what I packed and just talking about what I wore a lot, what I didn't wear, what I wish I had brought with me or hadn't. So that'll be coming up in the next few weeks. If you want to know what I took with me, I did do a packing video, but it was more of a how to pack for a long trip. If you want to see my entire packing list, I'll pop the blog post down below so you can check it out as that has everything that I took with me bar the uh, black handbag that I have my camera in every day. Now I wasn't really supposed to shop on this holiday, but I feel like it's just one of those things that kind of ends up happening when you're away, particularly if you have any free time. And I did have a bit of a shopping afternoon planned with Jessica, who is my future sister-in-law. So a lot of the stuff that I picked up was actually while we were in New York. I didn't really shop anywhere else at all. It was just New York. And I grabbed a couple things when we were in Cos in Florence. As I popped in there with Lucas, he wanted to grab a couple of extra t-shirts. So I'm gonna start with Brandy Melville. Um, and I've actually purchased from Brandy Melville in the past and I'll pop a link to that video. I'd done a sort of whole US haul um, and I actually had a really disappointing experience. I thought the quality wasn't exactly up to scratch. For a bit of reference or context, I'd purchased a couple of linen t-shirts and I'd expected them to be like my acne linen t-shirts, which are just exceptional quality as are the Everlane linen tanks and I thought it was going to be similar but it's a much softer linen it's very unlike anything that I've ever had before and so my expectations weren't really met but I decided that I wanted to pop in while I was in New York anyway I figured why not um, might as well see what all the craze is about and I have to say my I guess my perception of Brandy Melville has completely changed as I absolutely love what I picked up. So the first thing I grabbed is this white t-shirt. It's just a plain baggy white tee that says it's lit and this is just um, stitched in and I love this. It is so super soft. It is just the right amount of bagginess. One of the things that I want to mention about Brandy Melville, if you aren't too familiar with the brand, is that they only have one size, which I find completely ridiculous as obviously it doesn't cater to girls of all sizes, but thankfully the things that I wanted fit me the way that I wanted them to. So yeah, this is one size T. It's the perfect sort of bagginess for me and I really love the quality of it. It washes really well and it's just really simple and nice and it's not really sheer either. I'm not really much of a t-shirt girl, but I feel like this is going to be one of the things that is gonna turn me around and make me wanna wear tees more often. The next piece I picked up from Brandy Melville was another t-shirt. This is actually a V-neck striped tee. You guys know how much I love my stripes and this is just a really nice, easy breezy type of tee. I wore this quite a few times. It actually has quite a low V cap, much lower than I would normally go for. But I figure, I mean, why not? And it was one of those things that was really appropriate for where we were and just really great for summer. And I think this is gonna be one of those pieces that I'm gonna wear a lot in the summertime here as well, as I just really like the length of it and I like the way that it hangs on the body too. 
Now this is something that I've actually really been wanting to pick up for ages. It is a body from Brandy Melville, so it has a really nice scoop back. I don't really think it's going to translate that well on camera, but I will insert a clip so you guys can see how it looks on. But this is really form fitting and I just feel like it's one of those things that I was missing in my wardrobe and I think it'll look really nice with pencil skirts or just, you know, more of a fitted up with something that looks really slick or even with just a really nice big full skirt. So I really like this and it's quite thick and just a really nice soft fabric as well. Um, and everything I picked up from Brandy Melville was actually, I think, around the $20 mark. Everything there is really affordable. And actually, one thing I wanted to say about everything I picked up, it was either around $40 US or less or on sale and also under $40 pretty much. So I feel like I did pretty well. The only place that I bought things full price was when I was in Cos in Italy. So I did a pretty good job of bargain hunting while I was away. Um, then the last thing I grabbed while I was at Brandy Melville was a little bralette and I've been looking for something like this for ages and obviously I'm not going to show you guys how this looks on but it's just a really pretty white lace bralette. It is again one size which I think is really weird for lingerie but I don't know thankfully it fit me because it's behind the counter so I don't really think you can try these on but really pleased with this and it was exactly what I had been looking for so I think it's gonna look really cute underneath just um, slightly sheer white tees and that sort of thing and it was one of those pieces I was kind of missing from my wardrobe all right next I'm gonna talk about J. Crew. Um, I love J. Crew. it's one of my favorite US brands and I popped in and I really like gingham and I saw that they had this gingham shirt. It's just a really beautiful fabric. It reminds me a little bit of something that Blair Eady from Atlantic Pacific would wear and I adore her style. I just think she always looks really chic. So I picked this up and I thought this would look stunning with a pair of high-waisted white shorts in the summertime. I think it will look really crisp and just really perfect for the occasion. It's really sort of a loose fit. I like that and I also like the fact that you could actually wear it unbuttoned over a singlet or as a bit of a beach cover up as well. So very pleased with this one. And this actually was, so they retailed for 70 US dollars and I got it 30% off. So I think I paid around $45 for this, which was pretty good um, if you ask me. I kind of, yeah, as I mentioned before, I was sort of trying to pick things up that were on sale so that um, I didn't really break my budget too much. Then um, I'll show you guys my cause purchases. So. While I was in Cos in New York, I found this really pretty sort of terracotta pink toned long sleeved cotton wool dress. So it's an A-line dress. And I thought that this would be super cute for the transitional months here in Sydney. I love the fact that it's colorful as well because one of the things that I really want to start doing with my wardrobe is injecting a little bit of color because as you guys know, I tend to opt for the neutrals, but I really love sort of salmon pinks. I think they're really pretty. So this is just going to be a really easy throw on piece. And I think it'll look great with just a little pair of kitten heels as well. Um, the other dress that I got from Cos is a t-shirt dress and this is in a navy cotton and so not going to show up very well on camera, but I will insert a clip of what it looks like on. It has an asymmetrical hemline. I guess I really, you're going to have to see the clip. But what I really liked about this is the fact that it was such a simple silhouette but they had altered the style of it to make it look really interesting and I think it would look really beautiful belted at the waist as well just because there is so much excess fabric on the left hand side so I think it would just drape really beautifully and look a little bit Grecian so really love this and yeah it's a midnight navy and the fabric is really nice and because it's a cotton I think it would be really breathable and perfect for our summer and it's sort of knee length as well which is quite good because I reckon that I could wear this to the office and not really feel like I'm just wearing a t-shirt dress. The last thing I grabbed from Cos was a bikini and it is this blue bikini so this is the top. Um, it's quite booby. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys what this looks on, like on. Um, these are the bottoms, which is sort of like a um, full boy short style, which I quite like. And it's a neoprene fabric. So yeah, I did wear these while um, we were in New York just so I could swim in my cousin's pool. But I quite like it. I think it is a bit different to the other bikinis that I own already. Now as I also grabbed a couple of accessories while I was away, I didn't buy any shoes and you guys know how much I love my shoes. I really 
uh, restrained myself on that but one of the first accessories that I picked up was this peachy silk scarf while I was in um, Florence because for the wedding we were actually in a Catholic church and we had to have our sh shoulders covered and if you guys saw the dress that I was wearing then you'll have seen that it had my back there so basically I just had this wrapped over my shoulders and because I was wearing a black dress it went really well um, Oh, okay, so much fabric, but I do think this will be really handy um, if I ever need to wear a shawl. Sorry, the sun has like just come in, so it's totally put all my lighting out. Um, I'm really sorry about this, so hopefully, I'm just trying to edit a little bit, hopefully um, everything isn't too yellowy from now on. Um, the other sort of scarfy bit that I picked up was from Madewell, and as you can see, I've got a little Madewell necktie on right now, and I grabbed it in the cream as well. I love neckties, I think they're so much fun. Um, I think it just adds a really nice little detail to the collar and it's a little bit different from wearing a necklace. So yeah, I thought this one would be a lot of fun to wear as well. So it's just kind of got this really cute navy black and red pattern on it. So I thought that would be a nice addition and this is super cheap. I think it's about 12 US dollars. So highly recommend picking one of these up. Oh, and I will link everything down below that I can find or if I can't find it, I will also pop something similar. And then I did buy two purses and one was actually one I had been eyeing up before I even left for the trip. Um, God, this light is gonna drive me crazy. This is from Michael Kors and it is a little wallet and it's a salmon pink color and it has a cute little, I like it's sort of like a wristlet style, which works wrong way around, which I think is really cute. It has a pocket on the back and then when you open it up, and what I love about this is how versatile it is. So you open it up and it actually has this little pouch here, which has the wristlet on it, which you could just pop some keys and some change in there if you wanted. Okay, sorry, I was in the middle of describing the purse and then the sun came out from behind the clouds and now the lighting's all funny. Really sorry about this. It had been cloudy all day until just now, so just my luck. But so what I was saying is you open this up and there is this cute little card case, which is great because you can obviously put all your essential cards in there and some cash in the center. And then this has the purse itself has a bit of space in there. I almost wonder if you could put an iPhone in here. I haven't tried that. Oh no. Okay, so it's too small for your iPhone, but there is plenty of space in there and you've got so many little pouches. So I love the fact that for the cost of one purse, you get three. And I love the combination of these as well, how it's sort of like a salmon pink, a red, and then more of a coral pink. So I think that is so versatile and gives you so many options. And the last thing I purchased, and you guys might have seen this in my vlogs or maybe even in an outfit post on my blog, I'm not sure whether they will have gone up yet, but is this chain bag here. I know what you're thinking, you're going to be wondering if I went to Stella McCartney and purchased this. No, I didn't. I actually grabbed this from a market stall while I was in Florence. And one of the things that I've always heard about Florence is that it's the best place to buy leather in Italy. And I was just wandering around the little store, which was very, very close to our hotel, and I stumbled across this bag. And I've been lusting after the Stella McCartney Fella Bella bag for so long. And it's uncanny resemblance just struck me. I was like, that is so pretty. It's the exact color that I want. And I have to tell you, I was very skeptical as to whether or not this was real leather. Turns out it actually is real leather. It softened up beautifully since I've picked it up. And I really love the effect on it. It's sort of like a marble de leather effect on the front. The interior isn't anything special. Um, it just looks like that. Oh, and I have lipstick in there, of course. It was just sort of like a cotton fabric but I love the fact that you can wear the bag like that or one of the things I've been doing a lot is actually folding it over like that and then wearing it as a crossbody bag. I just think it looks super cute and this was such a great purse to actually have while I was on holiday. I really really enjoyed wearing this so really pleased with this purchase and it only cost me 35 euros so that's 50 Australian dollars which is ridiculous for a leather handbag so yeah you can kind of understand why this had to come home with me um as i said i will link the original bag below if you want to check it out 
but I just thought that this was such a great alternative while I was away and it's really funny because Luke's mum ended up purchasing the same bag when she saw it she was just like oh I really like that and she sort of said to me well, do you mind if I buy the same bag as you of course I don't mind so she got it in a toffee caramel color so yeah we've got matching bags now it's hilarious but yeah I, I love it and it's probably one of my favorite purchases from our entire trip so that was everything that I picked up as I mentioned I did go shopping far more than I should have. I mean, it was one of those things. You're on holiday, why not enjoy it while you're there? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you later, bye.